Praise the Lord, church. It's good to be in the house of God this morning. Thank you, Bishop, for this opportunity. Thank you, elders. I'm going to quickly go into the word. Daniel chapter 3, verse 15 through 18. I'll give you a little bit of precedence. Um, We're talking about the three Hebrew boys today, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And King Nebuchadnezzar at this time, the king of Babylon, was setting up a golden image. And he expected everybody to bow down and worship this image once the music started playing. And these three Hebrew boys refused to. So starting in verse 15, it says, Now if ye be ready, this is King Nebuchadnezzar, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, hor- harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well. But if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. This is an easy, easy answer. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, whether I be alive or whether I not. God's going to deliver me out of your hand. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. And what I've gotten in prayer over this time is really this world is after our worship. This world desperately wants our focus, our attention, our minds, and most of all, our worship. With young people going to school now, there's nothing more that this world wants than your worship. There's nothing more that this world wants than your minds, your time. There's nothing more that this world wants than to distract you with this instead of spending time in the Word. There's nothing more this world wants than to distract you with peers instead of surrounding yourself with godly influences. This world desperately wants our worship. And what we truly need right now is a resolute mind. In a world like today, what we need is a resolute mind. I don't care what this world is going to do to me. I don't care what this world says about me. I'll take the fire. I'll take the fire. You're not going to get my worship, but I'll take the fire. You're not going to take my worship away from God. I'll choose the fire. Yesterday was my lovely wife and I's anniversary. Two years. Two years. Bless her heart. She's done well. She's done well. (laughs) But we've been through the fire together. This is something that God really put on my heart. We've been through the fire together over these two years. We've been through a lot. Many of us are going through a lot. But you know what happens in the fire? God moves. In the midst of that fire, in that fiery furnace that he threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in, there were four men, not three. God was in the midst of them. You have to understand, in the fire, that's where we find and experience things that God can accomplish and we can't. It's in the fire that we truly see God coming forth. I need somebody to understand today that if you're in the fire today, you're exactly where God wants you. You're in exactly the perfect position to get your testimony. You're in exactly the perfect position to get your miracle right here in the fire. Don't pray your way out of the fire. Pray that God does something with the fire. Pray that God does something through the fire. If I'm going to be tempered in this fire, I'll take the fire. You can't have my worship. You can't have my praise. I'll take the fire because when I come out, I'm coming out for God. I'm coming out for God. 
Can we just lift up our hands one more time right now and say, I'll take the fire. I'll take the fire. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, that's it. Give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you'd remain standing, my greetings to What's everyone to today. It's so good to be here. It's a pleasure to estar aquí. You ready to hear from God again? ¿Cuántos están listos para escuchar de Dios una vez más? Please turn to Matthew chapter 9, verse 2. De Mateo, capítulo 9. Those. Verse 2. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. Y sucedió que llegaron a... Llevaron a él un paralítico tenido sobre una camilla. Al ver Jesús la fe de ellos, dijo el paralítico: Te animo, hijo, tus pecados te son perdonados. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, This man blasphemeth. Entonces algunos escribas se decían entre sí: Este blasfema. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think you evil in your hearts? Conociendo Jesús sus pensamientos, dijo: ¿Por qué pensáis mal en vuestros corazones? For whether it's easier to say, thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, arise and walk. ¿Qué es más fácil decir? Los pecados te son perdonados, o levántate y anda. But that you may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, then saith he to the sick of the palsy, arise, take up thy bed, and go into thine house. Pues saber que el Hijo del Hombre tiene potestad en la tierra para perdonar pecados. Y entonces le dijo al paralítico, levántate, toma tu camilla y vete a tu casa. And he arose and departed to his house. Y se levantó y se fue a su casa. I want to preach on the subject this morning. He's quite convincing. Quiero predicar con este mensaje. Él es, realmente puede convencer. Would you mind praying with me just for a moment, Lord? Let your word speak to us. God, I pray that you would encourage someone today. Let the word of God be alive to us. Help our hearts be open to your word and let it, God, energize us. Let it encourage us. Let it edify us. Let it speak to us, mold and shape us, God. Let it affect us to the positive, we pray, and help our faith to be greater than it was when we walked in the door this morning, we pray. And let it be to your people. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may be seated. While you're being seated, we are doing bilingual. Mientras estamos, ustedes han sentado, estamos haciendo bilingüe. But we are simply waiting for a date from Brother Scott so that he can preach our first Spanish service. Y estamos solamente esperando por una fecha por el hermano Scott, a misionero al país de Sudamérica, y para dar una fecha y ser el primer predicador en el servicio de español. And if you don't speak Spanish and want to go to that service, we do have the earbuds that you can wear. Y si usted, para los que no hablan inglés, eh, están los, los audífonos para los que no van a entender, no pueden entender. The services will be translated for you. Los servicios van a ser traducidos para los que no hablan español. Do we need to do bilingual in the second? Sir? No, no. No. <laughs> But we're so excited we've gotten to this point, and thank you for uh, being patient with us. And thank you for allowing us to minister to both Spanish and English speaking. Damos las gracias a la iglesia, a la iglesia madre, por ser pacientes y permitir y sentir la carga por por la por la la, la obra hispana. Amen. We're kind of waiting for the day also when we have about 150 deaf people sitting here in the service y, that we have y, to have their own deaf. Y otro ministerio más que hay. Es los hermanos sordomudos que vamos a tener un día unos 150 alabando a Dios. Amén. Amén. Now we need some Filipino, we need some Thai, we need some German and Polish and Russian and we need all that. Amén. Y necesitamos gente de toda lengua y nación también en este lugar. So, 
There was a man that was sick of the palsy, which means he couldn't walk. Había un hombre paralítico, en otras palabras, no podía caminar. They brought him to Jesus, and Jesus said, "Be of good cheer; your sins be forgiven thee." Y dice que lo llevaron a Jesús, y Jesús le dijo, "Ten ánimo; tus pecados te son perdonados." But in verse 6, he said that you may know that the Son of Man hath power to forgive sin. Pero en el versículo 6 dicen, para que sepan que el Hijo del Hombre puede perdonar pecados. When I looked at that circumstance, I thought, this man came to be healed, but Jesus said that you might know that I can forgive sin. I'm going to go ahead and heal him. Y cuando comparo estas circunstancias, vemos que el hombre, el paralítico, fue a ser sanado por Jesús. Sin embargo, Jesús le dice, se sano. So the healing se perdonado, perdón. to Jesus was actually secondary. Y pareciera que la sanidad para el Señor Jesús fuera algo secundario. When you look at Jesus' words here, <clears throat> he was making a statement, I'm going to do this so that you understand what I'm capable of. Y cuando miramos <coughs> esta declaración del Señor Jesús diciendo, voy a hacer esto para que tú comprendas ¿Cuál es mi capacidad? There were people in the room that didn't believe he had the power to forgive sin. Había gente en ese aposento, en ese cuarto, que no creían que el Señor Jesús podía perdonar pecados. I believe there are people in this room today that doubt whether God can actually forgive them or not. Y creo que hay gente aquí que verdaderamente creen que Jesús no puede perdonar pecados. You don't know where I've been and what I've done. Y dicen, pues yo no sabes lo que yo he hecho, por dónde he estado. But your life may have brought you to a point where you need a healing in your life. Pero tu vida te ha traído a un punto en el cual necesitas sanidad. You might need deliverance in your life. A lo mejor necesitas liberación en tu vida. You might need restoration or your marriage healed. Quizás restauración en tu matrimonio. And that's why you came. Y quizás por eso veniste hoy. That is all so very temporary. Pero eso es algo temporario. Yet forgiveness of sins can be eternal. Pero el perdón de pecados es eterno. May I be so bold as to say that maybe God allows some things in our lives so that forgiveness of sins can be something that happens in your life. Puedo decirlo con seguridad que el perdón de pecados puede ser algo que suceda una sola vez en tu vida. He did it a lot of times in the Bible. Él lo hizo muchas veces en la Biblia, a través de la Biblia. He allowed bad things to happen in people's lives so that he could get their attention. Él permitió cosas malas que sucedieran para llamar la atención de la gente. And then those people began to cry out to God and say, I'm sorry for what I've done. Y esa gente empezó a clamar a Dios diciendo, Señor, perdóname por lo que he hecho. They cry out and say, I want my circumstance to change. Ellos clamaban y decían, yo quiero que mi circunstancia cambie. And God forgives them and heals them and restores them. Y Dios es el que, respal, el que restaura, el que perdona. So we have some people that were some religious people standing nearby when Jesus was speaking. Vemos en el pasaje de Mateo 9 que había gente religiosa en medio de la, de la congregación. I think he actually has quite a sense of humor. Y pienso que el Señor es, le gusta el buen humor. Because we had these men there and Jesus said, uh, be of good cheer. <clears throat> I know you came for healing, but I'm going to go ahead and forgive your sin. Imagínese, el Señor le dice, ten buen ánimo. Cuando el Señor tenía una gran necesidad, sabía que él le podía sanar. I wonder if there was a slight hesitation after he said that. Y después me pregunto si hubo una poca de duda al escuchar esas palabras de Jesucristo en este paralítico All those religious people were watching for the healing Los religiosos estaban atentos con los ojos abiertos para ver el milagro And he says I'm going to forgive your sin Pero el Señor Jesús le dice algo completamente diferente Perdono tus pecados Those religious people were like Y los religiosos se quedaron paralizados But only God can forgive sin Diciendo Solo Dios puede perdonar de pecado. But Jesus forgave sin. Pero Jesús perdonó los pecados. <laughs> if you if you offend me or do something against me and and I 
and, and, and you need forgiveness. Si, al, si alguien me ofende a mí, él necesita perdón. He can't forgive you That's right. for what you did to me. Él no le puede perdonar por lo que me han hecho una tercera persona, por lo que me hicieron a mí. No puede perdonar una tercera persona. You sin against me. Él pecó contra mí. So I need to forgive you for so, what you did to me. Entonces yo tengo que perdonar a esa persona. When we sin, we sin against God. Cuando pecamos, pecamos contra Dios. And that's why only God can forgive sin. E ahí solo Dios puede perdonar pecados. And those religious people knew that. Y los religiosos entendían este concepto. So when Jesus said, I forgive your sin. Y cuando Jesús dijo, tus pecados son perdonados. It's because he knew who he was. Es porque él sabía quién era. And they knew what he said he was saying he was. <laughs> Porque ellos sabían y lo que estaba diciendo. I know that you know what I know I said that you thought I was saying because I said it because I wanted you to know that I knew that who I was. <laughs> he said it because he knew they would understand what he was saying. Él lo dijo porque <clears throat> Jesús enten, sabía su pensamiento y entendían las palabras de Jesucristo. So that's why the sparks of blasphemy came into the room. Y por eso dijeron esas palabras, esto es blasfemia. Because they don't know. Porque ellos no sabían. I had so much I had so much pleasure reading all the commentators on this scripture. Yo me, me gozaba leyendo los comentarios en, de, a través de, por el pasaje de esta lectura. One after another simply confirmed what I just told you. Uno después de otro simplemente estaban confirmando lo que le acabo de comentar, le, le acabo de decir. The fact that Jesus forgave sin was himself declaring that he was God in flesh. Que el hecho de que Jesús perdonó pecados en el versículo 2 era declaración de que Él era el Dios Todopoderoso. So if he says I can forgive sin, he's calling himself God. Y si Él dice yo puedo perdonar tus pecados, estaba llamando a sí mismo Dios. If he's not God, then he's lying. Y si no es Dios, estaba mintiendo. And he's the only one that went to the cross for you and me. Y él fue el único que fue a la cruz del Calvario para usted y para mí. And if he's lying and went to the cross, his blood won't pay for your sins because it's not pure. Y si él mintió en su palabra, su sangre que derramó en la cruz no va a pagar por nuestros pecados. So he, either he's God. Ya, ya sea que él es Dios. Or we have no savior. O no tenemos un salvador. I'm going to go ahead and accept the fact that he's God because I need a savior. How about you? You need a savior? I need a savior. Vamos a aceptar los hechos reales. Él es el único salvador. Amén. Sí. Woo. So healing the soul was his priority. Y era sanar el alma, la prioridad de Jesús. Their expectation was for Jesus to heal him. Y había una gran expectación para que Jesús sanara al paralítico. So there are a lot of reasons that we are here in this room today. Y hay muchos motivos por los cuales hemos llegado a este lugar. Some may want to hear the word of God. Algunos vienen por escuchar la palabra de Dios. And some may have to come because their parents forced them to come. Algunos vienen porque sus padres los forzaron a venir. Some may be in pain and want that relieved. Algunos vienen porque tienen dolor y quieren ese alivio. And others may have an emptiness in their heart and they're looking for a way to fill it. Y algunos otros tienen un vacío en su corazón y buscan cómo llenarlo. But I would ask you today, the fact that you came here, would you just let Jesus give you what he feels is best for you? Y yo quiero pedirle a usted, ya que hizo el esfuerzo de venir levantarse, que... Permita que Dios le dé lo que Él cree que es necesario para usted. Everyone came here with some kind of expectation. Todos hemos venido con una cierta expectativa esperando algo. Their expectation was healing. La, su expectativa de esta gente era, que leímos, era una sanidad. But I believe Jesus was sending us yet another message through this story. 
Y creo que el Señor Jesús nos envía un mensaje secundario a través de este pasaje bíblico. No matter what you came for, no importa lo que por lo cual hayas venido. I want to give you more than you expected. Yo quiero darte más de lo que tú esperas. Now unto him. No a nos, no a, ahora a él, that is able to do exceedingly al que es, lo que puede hacerlo, abundantly above abundantemente, all that we can ask or think. Todo lo que pidamos o pensemos, he not only wants to give us more than we expect, no tan solo quiere darnos lo que nosotros esperamos, he expects to give us more than we expect. Él está en la expectativa de darnos más de lo que esperamos nosotros. Because we ask for what we think we need, porque pedimos lo que nosotros pensamos que, que necesitamos. And he's going to first give us what he knows we need. Pero primero Dios nos va a dar lo que él sabe que necesitamos nosotros. And if we seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Y si buscamos primero el reino de Dios y su justicia. If we seek him first. Si le buscamos primero. All these things will be added unto you. Todo va a ser añadido. Deliverance. Liberación, salvation, salvación, provision, blessing, bendiciones, power, poder, healing, sanidad. If we seek Him first, si primero os buscamos a Dios, one of the comments I've been praying with people about recently, uno de los que una de las cosas que He orado por la gente últimamente. I know what you need. Yo sé lo que necesitas. Just pursue him. Simplemente búscalo. Just pursue him. Simplemente busca, ve tras de él. When Jesus healed that man, the Bible says they all glorified God. Cuando Dios sanó a ese hombre, dicen que todos glorificaron a Dios. They didn't glorify the miracle. Dice que ellos no glorificaron el milagro. It doesn't say they glorified Jesus. Tampoco dice el versículo 7 que glorificaron a Jesús. When they saw the miracle, they glorified God. La gente al verlo se maravilló y glorificó a Dios. I can just see Jesus go, good job. Y puedo ver a Jesús diciéndole, They glorify God and Jesus says, you're welcome. Ellos glorificando a Dios dice, dice Señor Jesús, de nada. When the multitude saw it, they marveled. Y cuando la multitud miró al verlo, se maravilló. The revised version says something different. La versión revisada dice algo diferente. Instead of saying they marveled, en lugar de decir se maravillaron, it says they were afraid. Tuvieron temor. Because now they knew that they stood in the presence of more than just a man. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos su entendimiento se les abrió y estaban delante de la persona que él decía ser. Jesus looks and says, "Thy sins be forgiven thee." Jesús le dice, "Tus pecados son perdonados." And he said, <coughs> Why are you thinking evil in your heart? Y le dice, ¿por qué piensas en tu corazón maldad? Are you saying you know what I'm thinking? Y se le dice uno, me está leyendo la mente. Only if I'm God. Solamente si él era Dios. <laughs> Why are you? Th he didn't say, "Why are you speaking evil?" He said, "Why are you thinking it in your heart?" El señor jamás mencionó por qué están hablando, murmurando. Él dijo, "Por qué piensan en maldad?" So all these religious people are going. He just read my mind. Y los religiosos mirando dijeron, "Acaba de leerme la mente." So if he heals this guy, entonces. <laughs> Si, si sana al hombre al paralítico, that means he knows exactly what I was thinking about him. Entonces sabe lo que yo estaba pensando sobre él. So Jesus goes ahead and heals the guy. Jesús va y sana al paralítico. And it says they were afraid. Y dice que ellos estaban con atemorizados. Kind of like those men that brought that adulterous woman to Jesus. 
como los estos hombres que trajeron los a la mujer adúltera a Jesús. We caught her in adultery. Le dijeron la atrapamos en el en el adulterio. You're going to stone her like the law says? Y dice la vas a pedrear como lo dice la ley. Jesus said maybe in a minute. Dice dame un minutito. First of all, I want to write down a couple of things. Dice primero déjame escribir unas cosas. I wonder if they were like looking over his shoulder. What's he doing over there? Y me pregunto si estaban de mirones viendo qué escribía en la tierra. It doesn't say what he wrote down in the dirt. Él no 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 describe la Biblia qué escribió Jesús en la tierra. But he did look up and he said, "Let him who has no sin cast the first stone." Pero cuando levantó su vista le dijo, "El que esté libre de pecado arroje la primera piedra." And they start looking around like, "Hey, did you do that?" Yeah, I did. Why well, did that one? And did you do that one? Yeah. And how about this one? Oh, I'm out of here. Y empezaron a ver, hiciste esto, lo otro, y de repente se fueron. It's amazing how when we come to God, we have a certain expectation. Y cuando nosotros venimos a Dios, venimos con cierta expectativa. They wanted him to stone her. Ellos venían con la expectativa de que Jesús apedreara a la mujer. And now they were at risk of losing their own lives. Y ahora se había calviado los roles. Ellos iban a ser los apedreados. God did not do it to condemn them. Dios no lo hizo para condenar a la gente. He did it to save them. Era para salvarles. But he set before them life and death. Pero él puso en medio de ellos la vida y la muerte. And at that point they chose death. Y en ese momento ellos escogieron muerte. <clears throat> the Lord forgave the sick man's sins for his own sake. El, el Dios Jesús sanó a este paralítico a causa de su nombre. So the man was sick but he was also a sinner. El hombre era un pecador y también estaba enfermo. And the Bible says Jesus looked at him and said, I'm going to forgive your sin. Y Jesús le dice, voy a perdonar tus <clears throat> pecados. Forgiving him was not for their sake. Perdonarlo no era por causa de él, de los que estaban ahí. Forgiving him was for him. El perdonarle era causa de él mismo, del paralítico. But he said that you might know that I have power on earth to forgive sin. Y él le dice, para que ustedes sepan que yo tengo el poder para perdonar pecados... I'm going to heal him. También voy a sanarle. You might say that the healing was for his benefit. A lo mejor dice usted, pues, se benefició de la sanidad. But Jesus didn't say it was for his benefit. Pero Jesús no dijo que era para beneficio del paralítico. He said it was for your benefit. Era para los que estaban mirando. That you might know that I have power to forgive sin. Para que ellos se dieran cuenta que él tiene el poder de perdonar pecados. Jesus does things from time to time just to give you more faith. Dios hace cosas de tiempo en tiempo para darte fe. Some of you are having struggle to believe what you really want to receive from God. Algunos tienen problemas para recibir lo que Dios tiene para usted. You can't quite get there on your own. Usted no lo va a obtener por sí solo. And like the man who said, I believe, but help thou my unbelief. He said, I have some faith. Él dice, Tengo cierta fe. But it doesn't seem to be enough to get what I need. And Jesus stands ready to say, I'm going to give you what you need to believe me for what you need. I'm going to convince you that I can do it. Yo te voy a mostrar que yo puedo hacerlo. If you need to be healed of diabetes. Si lo va, si necesita sanidad, lo vas a obtener. I'm going to heal him of blindness. Voy a sanar al ciego. So that you believe I can heal you. Para que tú creas que yo puedo sanarte a ti también. If you can't walk. Si tú crees. I'm going to heal you of heart disease. Voy a sanar tu enfermedad del corazón. So you believe I can heal the lame. Para que pueda levantar al paralítico. He's going to give one miracle. Él va a dar un milagro más. To start a chain reaction of many miracles. Para crear una cadena en reacción de milagros. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Si lo cree, de un grito. God's going to do it for me. Shout it. De un grito, si lo cree, que Dios puede hacerlo. Aleluya. Mm. Ah. 
Aleluya. Bendito sea el nombre. Aleluya. Aleluya. So the first thing they saw when that man was healed. Lo primero que miraron cuando este hombre fue sanado. They stood in awe that a miracle had just happened in their presence. Ellos estaban anonadados de que un milagro había sido hecho en su presencia. But something came to me in prayer this morning. Y algo vino a mí en oración en esta mañana. So you believe y dice, ¿tú crees that I have power to forgive sin. Que tengo el poder de perdonar pecados. I'm going to heal him. Entonces voy a sanar a él. Which means everybody in the room que significa que todos los que estaban en el cuarto not only witnessed a miracle of healing no tan solo fueron testigos de sanidad but forgiveness was within reach. Pero había el perdón de pecados al alcance de todos forgiveness was in reach el perdón de pecados estaba al alcance forgiveness was in the room el, el perdón de pecados estaba en ese cuarto he was saying if healing's in the room él estaba diciendo si va a haber sanidad en el cuarto though, then divine Forgiveness is in the room too. Entonces, un perdón divino va a ver en ese cuarto también. Time out. Let's lift our hands to him right now. Levante sus manos al cielo. Hallelujah. Do you need it? Do you need forgiveness today? Si usted necesita perdón. Forgiveness is a greater miracle than healing. El perdón de pecados es un milagro más mayor que la sanidad física. It's within reach. Está al alcance ese perdón. Forgiveness is in the room. El perdón está en este lugar, en este santuario. No matter how far away from God you are. No importa que tan lejos estemos de Dios. Forgiveness is within touch right El now. perdón siempre está a la punta de nuestros dedos. You're right here, Jesus. You're right here, God. In his presence is fullness of joy. And at his right hand are pleasures forevermore. In la presencia de Dios hay gozo plenitud. He's saying, yes. I can heal you in the flesh. Él te puede sanar. And I can heal you in the spirit too. En lo físico. Y Woo! puedo sanarte lo espiritual. In fact, it's my pleasure to do both. Es mi gozo. Oh, mama. Solo boco, to, to, to. Hallelujah. Woo, God. Lord, I'm not afraid, but your glory just entered this room. God, you started it during worship in such a deep way, and now you're here. You're reaching for the souls of men and women today. La presencia de Dios está pesadamente en este lugar, buscando quien anhela de ella. Reading their minds ought to have been enough for them. Leer el que Jesús haya leído las mentes de los escribas no fue suficiente. If somebody tells you exactly what you're thinking, si alguien te dice exactamente lo que estás pensando en el momento, you need to know that God is involved. Necesitas reconocer que Dios está en medio de ello. And Jesus was by his actions saying, because of what I do, you will believe who I am. Y Jesús le dice, con por medio de acciones, por lo que yo hago, tú vas a creer quién soy. What are you feeling today? ¿Qué es lo que estás sintiendo hoy? 
We are in the presence of a God that can heal us in the flesh and in our hearts. Estamos delante de la presencia de un Dios, del Dios que puede sanar física y espiritualmente. So he did say that I forgive your sins. Él dijo, te perdono tus pecados. But in verse 6 he said, arise, take up thy bed and go into thy house. Pero en el versículo 6 dice, levántate, toma tu camilla y vete a tu casa. In one of the Gospels, it says that there was the four men that lowered him into the presence of Jesus. En uno de los Evangelios describe que habían sido cuatro hombres que lo bajaron por un tejado a Jesús. So Jesus said, "I want to show you something." Y Jesús dice, quiero mostrarles algo. You're never free until you have the ability to take up and take control over that which had control over you. Nunca vas a ser libre hasta que tomes control de eso que te tiene que no deja que seas libre. There are things that can have control over you. Hay cosas que tienen control sobre ti. And you can sit there and feel the presence of God and begin to worship Him. Puedes, y, y, y estás aquí delante de la presencia de Dios, sientes el mover delante de Dios, pero nada sucede. But until you can grab that bed that you were carried in. Pero hasta que no te des cuenta y levantes ese lecho que te tenía atado, esa cama. I came into this room carried by you. Yo vine aquí a la presencia, vine atado que me trajeron con eso. But I'm carrying you out. Pero ahora yo te voy a sacar. You're in charge on the way in. Usted esa cosa estaba en control mía. De But casa. I'm in charge on the way out. Pero para la salida yo estoy en control. You can have the power to take control over any sin in your life. Usted tiene el control sobre todo pecado en su vida. In Isaiah chapter 35. Isaías 35. Say to them that are of a fearful heart, be strong and fear not. 35.4. Decid a los de corazón apocado, esforzaos, no temáis. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Vuestro Dios viene con retribución. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. Con pago, Dios mismo vendrá y os salvará. So it's prophesying that God will come and save you. Entonces está profetizando que Dios va a venir y te va a salvar. And it prophesies that when God comes, it says, the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf shall be unstopped. Y dice, entonces los ojos de los ciegos serán abiertos y los destapados los oídos de los sordos. Then shall the lame man leap as a hart or a deer. El cojo saltará como un becerro. And the tongue of the dumb shall sing. Y cantará la lengua de los mudos. When God comes, the lame shall walk. Cuando Dios venga, el cojo va a caminar. So he not only forgave sin, proving that he's God. No tan solo Dios perdona pecados. But he caused the lame to walk, proving that he's God. Sino que iba a hacer, el ministerio de Jesús iba a hacer sanidades. Jesus said, I want you to know who I am. Jesús dice, yo quiero que conozcan quién soy. I want you to know me. Yo quiero que me conozcan. And I am prepared to do anything it takes to get you convinced to know me. Y estoy preparado para hacer lo que sea necesario y convencerte, ser convincente y creas en mí. Seeking signs tries to make him prove his power. El buscar solamente las señales era estar en búsqueda de solamente el poder que Jesús tenía. But no matter what it takes to prove who he is, it's Pero, fine with him. No importa lo que, lo que se requiera para probar quién era Jesús, eso está bien con él. Jesus came to them walking on the water in the middle of the sea. Jesús llegó a ellos caminando sobre las aguas. And then Peter looked at him and said, if it's really you, y Pedro le dice, si eres tú, let me come to you walking on the water. Deja que yo vaya. You see, Peter didn't say, I want you to prove to me who you are, or I want you to prove that you have power. 
Él no dijo, yo quiero que demuestres si eres Jesús, para, para creer si eres Jesús, lo que estoy mirando, no. Quiero que demuestres que hay poder. He said, if it's really you. Él dice, si eres tú, Jesus said, I want you to know it's me. Jesús le dice, yo quiero que sepas que soy yo. So come on. Él dice, ven. Do you want to know who he is today? ¿Cuántos quieren saber quién es el Señor? Just ask him. Solamente pregúntale. Exodus chapter 10. Exodus 10, libro de Exodus capítulo 10, verse 2. Versículo 2. He made the same statement. Él hizo las mismas declaraciones. He said I'm going to I'm going to move these plagues upon Pharaoh and the Egyptians so that you may know that the Lord puts it or I'm sorry that you may know how that I am the Lord. Dice yo yo pondré las señales en los egipcios, las que hice entre ellos, y así sepáis que yo soy el Señor. I'm going to do this so that you know I'm God. Y le dice, yo voy a hacer esto para que conozcan que yo soy Dios. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. El versículo, el capítulo 11, versículo 7. He was talking about the plagues again, and he said, that you may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. Dice, para que sepáis que el Señor hace diferencia entre los egipcios y los israelitas. I'm going to do something so that you know that there's a difference between you and the evil. Él dice, voy a hacer algo para que sepan ustedes que hay una diferencia entre el bien y el mal. In Isaiah 43, verse 8. Isaías 43, 6. Bring forth the blind people that have eyes and the deaf that have ears. Traen a los que son ciegos, a los que no tienen ojos, a los que no tienen oídos. Later on in verse 10, he says that you may know and believe and understand that I am he. En el versículo dice, para que los, ustedes sepan que yo soy, entendáis que yo soy. I am making their lives better and I'm blessing them. Estoy haciendo su vida mejor y les estoy bendiciendo. But I'm doing it so that you may know that I am God. Lo, lo hago para que sepáis que soy Dios. And then in Micah chapter 6, he said it again. Y en Miqueas capítulo 6, lo dice otra vez más. He said, remember Balaam and his story. Si, acuérdense de Baal y su historia. He said, I wouldn't let him prophesy bad things to Israel. Yo hice y profeticé en cosas de, contra Israel. He said, that you might know the righteousness of God. Para que conozca para que conozcas las justicias del Señor. And in John chapter 10, Juan capítulo 10, he said, but if I do, though you believe not me, believe the works, that you may know and believe that the Father is in me and I in him. Si no hago las obras de mi Padre, pero las, si las hago, creé las obras que aún no me creéis a mí, para que conozcáis y creáis que el Padre está en mí y yo en el Padre. He said, if you have any doubt of who I am, y dice, si tienes duda de quién soy, watch what I do, mira lo que, observa lo que yo hago, and let it prove to you of who I am. Y probaré quién soy. John chapter 20 tells the story of doubting Thomas. Juan capítulo 20 nos enseña la, una historia de eh, Tomás el, el que dudó. There are people in the room that said we've seen him alive. Había gente que decía hemos visto al maestro con vida. But Thomas wasn't there when he when they testified. Pero cuando le compartieron eso Tomás no estaba presente. And he said I'm not going to believe it unless I see the hands and and feet and put my hand hand in his side and put my finger in his hands. Dice hasta que yo no meta mi dedo en el lugar de los clavos en la mano y en el costado no creeré. Be careful what you say. Cuidado con lo que declare. The Bible said, I just read it this morning. La Biblia lo dice y lo leí en esta mañana. They were in the room all locked up. Ellos estaban encerrados con candado en un cuarto. They were afraid. Ellos tenían temor. Jesus walked through the door or walked through the wall, one of the two. Y Jesús entró a ese lugar de dos formas. O he, por la ventana sin abrir o por la puerta, pero entró. And he said, Thomas, here you go. Él dice, Tomás, órale. Thomas looked at his hands and his side and his feet. Y Jesús dice, y mira sus manos, mira sus pies. And he cried out, 
my Lord and my God. Y él dice, Señor mío y Dios mío. He said, you're my Lord and you're my God. Tú eres mi Señor y tú eres mi Dios. So what Jesus showed him y lo que el Señor Jesús le estaba mostrando a Tomás convinced him as to who he was. Convenció de quién era él. My last illustration. Una ilustración más. If the musicians could come. I wrote this down during worship this morning. Es, eh, escribí esto mientras estaba la alabanza. All these scriptures have the phrase that you may know. Y todas estas escrituras lo leímos para que diciendo para que conozcáis o creáis. I get this picture of a God that desperately wants us to know who he is. Y, y me da a entender de que, hay un, que Dios tiene esa desesperación, esas ganas de darse a conocer a su pueblo. I'm not sure I would have done it that way. Y yo no sé si yo lo hubiera hecho de esa manera. I might have showed you a few miracles, maybe. Quizás yo hubiera enseñado unos dos, tres milagros. But I see a God that over and over and over again is reaching and trying to prove to the people who he is. Sin embargo, vemos a través de una tras otra, tras otra, que Dios empieza a hacer milagros para demostrar quién es él. The first song that we sang today actually talked about the things that he does to show us and make us believe. El primer canto que se cantó hacía referencia, mención acerca de lo que dice, lo que él, yo ya lo dijo, ya nadie lo puede quitar. Thank you, Sister Swan, for being sensitive unto God. Gracias a la hermana Swan por ser sensible a la presencia de Dios. But I can't think of a better circumstance to prove that we may know. Y yo no puedo entender alguna una, otra circunstancia en la cual le pudiéramos conocer mejor a él. Then God for to look at you and I. Gracias a Dios que nos miramos a usted y a mí. And be thinking I don't want them to burn in hell forever. Y decimos yo no quiero quemarme eh, que se quemen en el infierno por la eternidad. But my word cries out for innocent blood. Pero mi sangre clama por sangre inocente. And I looked for some and I couldn't find any. Y busqué por algunas y no encontré nadie. So I'll make some myself. Entonces él se dijo a sí mismo, entonces yo voy a crear para mí. Mary, would you give me permission to use your body to create a body with blood? Y le dice, María, ¿me das permiso de crear un cuerpo que tenga sangre pura? So I can show this world that we can overcome this world. Y puedo demostrarle a este mundo que podemos vencerle. And as they led him to the scourging post. Y mientras ellos lo llevaban a ese ese hacia la cruz del Calvario and they tore his body apart with those whips perdón hacia el lugar de castigo donde los los azotaban there could have been a caption above his head eh, pudiéramos poner subtítulos arriba de su cabeza that says that they may know diciendo para cuando le estaban latigando para que me conozcan I'm doing this so that they may know. Estoy haciendo esto para que me conozcáis. That healing is available for you. Que sanidad está disponible para ellos. And then as he struggled walking up that hill. Y mientras él batalló para subir a la, a la colina del monte Calvario. And as those nails began to pierce his hands and his feet. Y esos clavos empezaron a romper la piel de sus manos y sus pies. They lifted up that cross as it fell in that hole. Levantando esa cruz, cayendo al agujero donde iba a ser puesta. As he struggled for breath. Y 
mientras sufría por tomar un respiro that they may know para que ellos that they may know I love them se, para que ellos sepan que les amo that they may know I care about them para que ellos sepan que yo cuido de ellos and now I have the power to forgive them and heal them yo sé que tengo el poder para sanarles perdonarles would you stand with me today Póngase de pie en esta hora. I read a story this morning. <clears throat> Esta mañana leí una historia. It was quoted by a man from medical records in Paris. Y fue escrita por un señor en eh, París de una um, una revista médica. There was a man that was attacked by a creeping paralysis. Era un hombre que fue atacado por una enfermedad crónica de parálisis. His sight was the first to go. Y su vista fue la primera en perder. And soon after that he lost his hearing. Después de ello, este hombre perdió la, el oído. And then soon taste, smell, touch, and the power of motion left his body. Y después el gusto, el tacto, y ya después el movimiento lo perdió por completo. And he could breathe and he could swallow and he could think. Él podía pensar, él podía respirar, él podía tragar. And he could also speak. Y también podía hablar. <coughs> Not the very slightest message from without could possibly reach his mind. He could not be communicated with. No era un mensaje muy pequeño que pensáramos que podía tener una conversación. Si era algo muy muy ligero, muy liviano. The world was completely shut off to him. Y el mundo estaba sorprendido por la situación de este hombre. And just by accident, something happened. Y por accidente algo sucedió. Somehow someone realized that one place on his cheek still had its feeling. Y um, por alguna razón un hombre, se, una persona se dio cuenta que el lado izquierdo de su su vejilla tenía movimiento. By writing letters on that small place on his cheek, his family could communicate with him. Y le conectaron aparatos y a través de ese movimiento en su mejilla, este hombre se podía comunicar por medio de tecnología muy avanzada con su familia. That discovery basically released him from a single prison. Y este descubrimiento uh, hizo que este hombre saliera de esa cárcel que en cual él se encontraba. We can feel that life's situations have stolen our ability to feel God and talk with God. Y pareciera que las situaciones de la vida nos impidieran que habláramos con Dios. We need to realize today that we're never past the ability for God to reach to us. Y debemos de darnos cuenta, entender que jamás vamos a a pasar esa oportunidad que Dios siempre nos da de buscarle. God knows that there's always one little place in our life somewhere. Dios sabe que dentro de nuestro ser hay un lugar pequeñísimo que está siempre buscando de él. One little spot that he can start writing I love you. Y un pequeño como este hombre uh, con estos sensores, algo tan pequeño que simplemente con estas palabras, te amo. God can reach to you through a thought of a family member. Y Dios puede alcanzarte a ti a través del pensamiento en un familiar, quizás. Maybe a song. Quizás algún canto que vas escuchando. Maybe a kind word from someone. O quizás unas palabras de ánimo que alguien te dice. Somewhere in your life is a small little patch of sensitivity. Pero dentro, en todo tu ser, 
hay un pequeño pedazo sensible God will use that to get through all of the numbness of this world y Dios va a usar ese pequeño pedazo con sensibilidad para meterse en medio de todo eso que está uh, adormecido por las cosas que el mundo tiene just when you felt like you were going to give up justo cuando usted estaba a punto de darse por vencido you sense the touch of the master's hand es cuando usted sintió el toque de la mano del maestro he's here y déjeme decirle el señor está en este lugar his altars are open el altar está abierto no se quede ya en su silla salga aleluya busque del maestro Jesus you're reaching for us this afternoon this morning you're reaching for that one place in our life that's still it's still soft God it hasn't been hardened by the failures by the lies by the corruption by the offenses by our own failures by this world by philosophy by religion it's still soft and sensitive to the touch of the master's hand reach touch give hope today to the hopelessness that's in this world would you allow him to reach his hand and heal the hardness he'll find that place where you'll respond to him he'll find it he knows exactly where it is